You'd think I've seen it all and nothing would shock me. Well, today, a three-year-old running a mill family car, a Honda Civic, has shocked me. Let's go and take a look. So this is now the new record of defects on one vehicle. I thought my last video, a Bentley video with five defects on one panel. Go and check out that video if you haven't. This one is actually qualified as the top Trump's winner so far. We've got, let me remember this, there's so many sanding marks, mismatched color, buffer lines, overspray, deep scratches, extensive overspray all around the car in some really, really weird places, and some burn throughs, which may not be burn throughs, but they look burn throughs at the moment. And what we're gonna now do is take you around the car with me, investigate each one of these defects individually and how we're gonna tackle it, so stay tuned. So at the moment, by the way, this has not been played or decontaminated. It's just had an extensive wash because in this case with the overspray, I want to show you what overspray looks like. If we'd played it, we might have removed a lot of the overspray. So let's go back to the vehicle. So we've got etching here. Right next to it is a long, deeper scratch. And of course, lots of swirls. Tree sap etching. There's a sort of contamination film. I can actually see a sinkage issue. That's a factory paint issue. This is what I said about a burn through. I mean, this panel has got so many issues on it. There's this very faint line, I'll take the light away, you can see right on this crease line, looks particularly see-through, and that could be see-through. Then I'll bring your attention along to this deeper scratch. So what we got there, you can see there, I'll move the light around, we've got this line of deep scratches, a couple of deep scratches. Then let's go along to the next part. So here is a deeper mark. We've got a deeper mark there. And then we've got this cloudiness there with some stain marks. That's actually, I can hear it, that's overspray. So there's enough defects just on that one panel there that technically at the moment I've got swells, scratches, potential burn through, overspray, and deeper marks. So let's go on to the door. Well, actually, no, let's start on the mirror as I'm at this height. Come around here so you can capture this. This has got which is factory paint. Look at the sinkage on this panel here. I can see it as a line when I'm standing around at an angle. There's a really, really bad, almost matte look to it. So we can fix that as well when we're polishing. That is a factory defect though, or a, a part of the process, not a defect, it's part of painting. That's not a induced defect from after it's been built. So we'll go along the door here. I've got another little patch of overspray there. A lot of people get that confused with staining but it's just, it's actually overspray print. There's a few deep marks, scratches. Then we've got this, I'm just gonna check, that does actually wipe off, so as a smear. And now what I've got on the end here, it's hard to capture. I can start to see evidence of polishing badly or a burn through. So right around on this edge here, there is actually a, a white line and there's a dent or a chip from the paint. But while we're in this area, check out how bad the B pillars are. Now these B pillars are also shocking. So you can imagine how good this car's gonna look when we actually do do a detail on it, which is what we're gonna do next. Um, so now let's check the door. So of course, that's just grabbed my eye straight away, it's how bad. I've already noticed there's a lot worse here after seeing here with that light. So let's come back to that in a minute. So what we've got, I can now see that the color, there's a discrepancy in color between these panels. And then that means this has been painted. Quickly, I can tell it's been painted just because that's the only panel on the car. It's a different color to the rest. That is a big subject that I can record videos and explain in the future, we will do, about why mismatched colors. Now, more importantly, damn, this panel has got leftover remains of sandy marks here, it's matte. But interestingly, it's got bird poo etching in the fresh paint, which doesn't surprise me, it's fresh paint but it's got holograms as well as sanding marks and patches. Now, when they've sanded and polished this, they've kindly also polished and put three buffer lines into the chrome area. And you can see how horrible this finish looks. And that's just bringing me on to, look at that pretty pattern. Someone has done an impressive job of leaving completely 
matte sanding marks and horrendous holograms all over the vehicle. Now we've got swirly lights, but before we go around the back, we've seen the swirly lights, I want to explain something to you about if this has been painted, it's very, very normal. I and mean, for some annoying reason, I can explain what the reason is, they never paint all the way around the pillar. What you'd expect is this pillar would all be painted down to here. Now, just to save time in a body shop, and you don't want a mask and put what's called a dry edge in here, you traditionally find, if this has been repaired, a join between there and roughly there. Normally the join is a sort of this area here because you can open the boot, mask this in here, you've only got to pull back one rubber, master there, and it's joined through here somewhere. There'll be a blend join. The join is actually up there. I don't know if you can see it, you can ignore my sticky hand marks. That is the join there. When I put a light on it, I can see it very, very well. There is a fade join in the clear coat there. That is very, very thin clear coat. It's been thinned down to zero. So you've got the original clear coat and the new clear coat. This is always going to have this join line and we're always polish back very quickly and fade over time. But you might get a year, two years worth of durability before that fades again. Be very, very careful of any strong chemicals because that's really soft, weak paint. And all they've done, the reason why I don't paint up there is they don't want to mask, like I said, all this area. They want to keep it localized, which in this case, everywhere it's been, it's, oh, no, it's just full of sandy marks. I can see that now. And then up here where they've polished it quickly with a buffalo rotary, they left buffer lines. So let's go around the back of the vehicle. That's some sort of paint, overspray, primer. It's high and lumpy, I can feel it. Where my fingers are there, there's a there's definitely overspray of some kind. It could be primer from when they prime the car. Oh, we can actually see all white spots. It looks like dust, it doesn't pick off, it's gonna need clean off. Then you can start to see how badly stained all these trims are. Oh great, and the white is all in all the gaps and curves and the edges. And look at these deep scratches. Look how deep they are. They're lovely and deep. So this is um, going to be a real challenge of a car. There's all the same white splatters underneath, so whoever's polished it before has obviously splatters underneath. Now, as I walk around, I'm looking for the same thing again. Uh, I mean, this side of the bumper is not quite as bad as the other side. It's just very, very, very swirly. Interesting, I can see stain marks through all those swirls. The stain marks is a weird See if I can get the light right. Come up there. There's actually run marks. So we got, oh my God, it gets worse. <laughs> Why do we always have to make a video of all these bad cars? <laughs> Come on then, let's have a look at this. Can you see that? <laughs> we got, we got white blobby overspray again. It's on the chrome, on the piano black trims. It's on the rubber. <laughs> You're getting to learn. If I laugh, it's bad. Because <laughs> as I said before in another video, that Bentley video, <laughs> you cry. You saw how bad it was. Look at the compounds. They've burnt the rubber. When they've polished it, we have to try and clean it up, which we will be able to. I actually think someone's tried to polish a scratch away. Sorry, sand a scratch away. When I take the light away, so I've not got a light blinding me, I can see in the reflection behind me, I can see a, a, a rounded off scratch. Why they've done this? At the moment, it's just absolutely full of sanding marks. I don't know. I mean, the edges, because this is bad. We've got the sanding marks, the deep scratches, the chips. There's a long scratch right through the car. And then, oh God. So, <laughs> breathe. The, the roof has had, what? Well, let's call it hammer time. I, I have no idea what's been going on here. I can see that that's buffer lines. Why this is matte and completely sanded here at the moment, I don't know. I need to investigate more. First thing you do is clay it all. Uh, I can see what someone's done, actually. I've worked it out. I can see some scratch lines. Now, those scratch lines could be in the direction of sanding. If And I can't definitely say they're not. But there's some sandy marks, which are still matte. It's all completely matte. But I find there's some suspicious scratch lines, like someone's took bird poo off. So I think someone's gone and tried to sand away the scratches. It's fouled. There's a good reason for failing, sanding away scratches. It's a myth. Completely different video, different subject at another time. But there's this um, scratch lines, and someone sanded it. And then we've got these remains. It could be hard compound. It's just been on a long, long time. I wonder if it is. I'll soon see. But that is really, I mean, People really need to educate. And 
Oh, I actually, for the first time seeing this, the cameraman, Jay, has wiped this down ready for me. I thought that was dust. Is that brow? Is that some sort of, you can read what's happened to it, of a blind man? Oh my God. Now, serious note. Have you ever had a car this bad? Have you ever had to resurrect a car this bad? For people that don't understand, a car like this, this complex shapes, would put 20, 30% more polishing time on just because of the intricate shapes. Then when it's a black car compared to a light colored car, you've got another 20, 30%. So we'll look at this way, 50%, let's average it. It's 50% longer to polish and detail this car because of the shapes and color. Then add all of these issues into the mix. You are doubling. You're absolutely doubling your correction time. How would you quote for that? How would you plan for it if the car turns up and the customer drops his car off, we wash it, bring it indoors and then go, damn. Because it messes your calendar up, the customer knows what well, has been quoted the price and now it's completely different. But anyway, comment down below how you deal with it. A lot of people struggle just to polish these B pillars. In this case, that which a lot of people struggle with is actually not a hard job to do. It's the rest of the car. So we've got some deeper scratches. We've got the sinkage again, really bad in the mirror there. Now, this is actually another serious question. Do you send this information to the customer to tell him about his car before you polish it? Do you just don't tell him? Do you actually say, I don't want to do the car? It's out my depth of skill level and knowledge. Because this is actually more serious than probably people imagine when it comes to detailing the car. You can see it there, we've got scratch through there. Scratch through, oh, was actually about six scratches, but the deeper ones. Now, anyone would know about Japanese cars and Japanese paint, they're normally quite low on clear coat or less than some other cars. Now, that again, you can take it with a pinch of salt because you can get a German car, there's loads of clear coat, it's been sanding the polish loads of times, they're having this clear coat in this. So this is gonna take a lot of forethought, a lot of sympathetic polishing, step by step, and instead of almost one pad for rough cut, one for sort of medium cut, one for finishing, I can foresee multiple machines, multiple size pads, and different types of pads to deal with all these different defects. What I do know is it's nice and sunny outside. It's summer. It would be nice to have an afternoon off now and again, but this car is going to make me busy. And I always shoot the messenger. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Thanks for booking in this lovely car. <laughs> I mean... <laughs>